Does this sound familiar? You enter your office in the morning, and before you begin work, you get some tea and talk to a coworker by the kettle for five minutes. You go back to your desk and immediately open your email. You have over 10 new emails. You look at the first one and read a couple of sentences. You put it aside because it's going to take some time to deal with. You read the next email and your phone rings. You answer the phone and get pulled into a conversation for 10 to 15 minutes. You hang up, go back to the prior email you were reading, but you're distracted because you're still thinking about that phone call. You need to reread the email to try to concentrate on what it's saying. I bet this does sound familiar. And without a plan, workdays will often start like this. In this video, we'll talk about the four fundamental steps to great time management. So by controlling what you can control, you make the most of your time. Coming up. Hi, I'm Michelle, a partner at Lead With Words. We help you increase your influence by creating videos on how to present, how to lead, and how to take your career and company to the next level. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Chet Holmes, in his book, The Ultimate Sales Machine, says that many of us will waste one hour per day revisiting things with no meaningful action. That equates to six weeks of wasted time per year. With this huge potential of greater productivity in mind, let's get right into the four steps to master your time. Step one, make your productive list. Many people keep a list as a way to stay organized. This is a great way to focus on high priorities. But where most people go wrong is they have an extremely long list. When they want to feel productive, they just go to their list and pick something and do it. It feels good to cross things off. I know. Years ago, I used to write mundane tasks like shower and eat lunch on my list because I too loved checking things off. The problem is, when you have a long list, you generally do the easier, less productive tasks first. At the end of the day, the most important things don't get done because they are difficult and are time consuming. Here's the rule. List the six most important things you need to do and get those six things done each day. This is your productive list. You can still have a longer general list of all the items that need to be done. But this way, when you plan each day, you can refer to this general list and use it as a reference to build your productive list of the six tasks. Here's an example. Conference call with Jack and Jane. Plan details for Friday's event. Work on a client proposal. Finish presentations for Thursday's meeting. Work on a monthly newsletter. And lastly, have a meeting with Bob. Now it's your turn. Pause this video and write down the six most important things you need to get done tomorrow. We know you're tempted to skip this exercise, but seriously, don't. Hit pause now. Step two, prioritize tasks. Now that you know your six productive tasks for tomorrow, prioritize them in the order of importance. The rule is to put the most important tasks first. Most people do the most important task last because it is typically the hardest and takes the most concentration. And we all have a natural desire to procrastinate. But by the end of the day, there is rarely time or energy to actually tackle this task. Also, completing the most important task first will give you a tremendous sense of accomplishment and momentum to tackle the rest of your productive list. For example, 
Finish presentation for Thursday's meeting. Work on client proposal. Meeting with Bob. Conference call with Jack and Jane. Plan details for Friday's events. And lastly, work on the monthly newsletter. It's your turn again. Take a couple of minutes to prioritize your tasks by putting the most important ones first. Step three, allocate time to each task. Determine the amount of time you'll realistically dedicate to each task. Keyword, realistically. This is important so you can be certain that your six tasks actually fit in one day. If a task is too big to finish, then write how much time during that day you'll dedicate to it. Make sure you book no more than 75% of your schedule with these six productive tasks. You need to allow some buffer time for unexpected emergency tasks and for checking and responding to emails. For example, if you work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., including one hour for lunch, you have eight working hours. So allocate six hours for your six productive tasks. For example, Finish presentations for Thursday's meeting, 0.5 hours. Work on client proposal, two hours. Meeting with Bob, one hour. Conference call with Jack and Jane, one hour. Plan details for Friday's event, 0.5 hours. And work on the monthly newsletter, one hour. Now, Write down how much time you'll spend on each task tomorrow. And remember, be realistic. Step four, schedule your day. Now that you know how much time each task will take, you need to schedule your day. This is not a generic guideline how you'd like your day to unfold. It has to be specific with a time slot for everything including reading and responding to emails, last minute meetings, and other miscellaneous tasks. These buffer periods are important because we all know there are things that may come up where you'll have to react. When you get off track, these buffers help you so that you can get back to your schedule. The key is that when something interrupts your schedule, deal with it then go back to your schedule. Dealing with unexpected events and interruptions then getting right back to the schedule is what separates great time managers from the poor time managers. For example, nine o'clock to 9.30, finish presentation for Thursday's meeting. 9.30 to 11.30, work on client proposal. 11.30 to 12, Check email, miscellaneous. 12 to 1 is lunch, and 1 to 2 is your meeting with Bob. 2 to 2.30, plan details for Friday's event. 2.30 to 3.30 is that conference call with Jack and Jane. 3.30 to 4, again, check email and miscellaneous. 4 to 5, work on the monthly newsletter. And lastly, 5 to 6, check email and miscellaneous. Back to you one final time. Go ahead and schedule your day tomorrow in a way that will allow enough time to finish all six priority tasks and stay on top of email and other miscellaneous tasks. If you consistently implement these four simple steps, you'll see drastic improvements in your productivity. One, Make your productive list. Two, prioritize tasks. Three, allocate time to each task. And four, schedule your day. So go ahead and surprise yourself with what you can get done. Question of the day. What is your biggest time management challenge? And what has helped you manage your time? Make sure to share your answer and connect with others in the Lead With Words community in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more content just like this, and we'll see you in the next video.